Hey, this is Andreas from Pocketables.com, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use symbolic links uh, on your jailbroken iOS device. So, first of all, what is a symbolic link? It is a shortcut to a file or folder, basically, the exact same thing as uh, shortcuts to files and folders on your computer. Uh, the reason why it's uh, such a nice trick on iOS is that it actually allows you to circumvent certain restrictions when it comes to App Store applications. Because when you download an app from the App Store, that app will only have access to files stored in its own folder. So it sort of has its own folder where it can store files. Uh, and if you want that app to access a file, you need to transfer it into that folder. Otherwise, iTunes, uh, some sort of feature in the app, or just using the open in feature. Um, that would basically copy the file into that folder so that you would have several different copies if you have the same file in different apps. So that's not ideal because you end up with several revisions of a file, so you might not know which is which. Uh, you end up with uh, using up more storage space than necessary and so on and so forth. So for instance I have two video player apps Good Player and AV Player HD. Um, I use both because one does something the other one doesn't do and vice versa so I really like to have both on my device. However the problem is that um, if I transfer a video file to one of them, the other one won't be able to access it unless I transfer it to that app as well. And I don't need to tell you that a 16GB iPad mini is going to be filled up quite quickly if you need to store video files twice on the device. So that's the sort of problem that Symbolic Links is perfect for fixing. So let's head into iFile, which is the jailbreak app you need to do this. Um, you need to make sure if you haven't used iFile before that you go into preferences, file manager and then make sure application names is turned on. Otherwise it will be quite difficult to actually find the apps in the file system. So when you've done that you can head into the application uh, section in the sidebar and you will see a list of all your apps folders. So this is is all the apps I have or the folders that go with them. So if I go into AV Player HD, um, you can see there are several different files and folders including a documents app. And that documents app has a internal data folder which is just the hidden folder um, that it uses uh, and an inbox folder which actually contains a video file. So the way that looks in the app is basically like this, you have the inbox folder and then the video file. Uh, in good player however I currently have nothing. So what I can do is go back into um, the main folder so I can actually see the entire documents folder right there. Go into edit mode, select it, hit the bottom right button copy slash link, select done, go back to applications, scroll down to good player, find its documents folder which you can see is empty aside from this hidden folder, go back into edit mode, uh, bottom right button and then create link. So you can see that it created a link to the folder. It looks like a full normal folder, but uh, the font color is slightly different. And if I click the file attributes button, you can see that it actually says type symbolic link. So I can change the name of this AV player HD files or something like that. That only changes the um, name of the shortcut it doesn't change the name of the folder it leads to. So once that's done I just hit done, go back into good player, refresh and there you can see it actually sees the uh, the symbolic link. Uh, and if I just click that I can follow that to the video file which I won't start playing because that will mess up the app I used to record this video. 
but uh, yeah you can see that it works so that basically means that now these two apps are able to access the same file so I can just keep transferring uh, files to AV Player HD and I can use either app to access those files. Um, another example uh, I use Goodreader to store documents so I have various folders that are synced with Dropbox and such uh, but I also have individual apps like Scanner Pro which I use to scan documents using the iPad Mini's camera. So what I can do is I can go into iFile, Applications, Find Scanner Pro, uh, Edit Mode, Select Documents, Copy Slash Link, Back into Applications, um, Find Goodreader, Documents, Edit Mode, Create link and I guess I can also rename it to uh, Scanner Pro Documents, something like that. Once again, just hit done, go back into Goodreader, no respring or reboot or anything like that is required, and you can just see that it shows up and I can actually just access the files as if they were just normal files and that file right there is the same one that uh, is at the top right here so once again they access the exact same file no need to copy it, no need to use your, up your storage space uh, or create a mess, just access the same file uh, the way you would actually know whether or not this works or not because not all the apps will actually allow you to or not all apps will work with symbolic links um, basically it's just a matter of trial and error for instance I wasn't able to get uh, pages or keynote to work with folders uh, but I could import files but that's basically useless because they just ended up copying them anyways but things like uh, Filer, which is a file manager, supports symbolic links, and just a ton of other apps. Um, this isn't a feature that the uh, developers build into their apps. It's more like a uh, happy accident uh, that occurs when they use certain methods for accessing files. So that's why it works with so many App Store apps, even though they're, it's not supposed to work, to put it like that. Um, I want to show you one more thing and that's uh, more iPad specific because it requires the uh, the USB adapter which is available for lightning and 30 pin iPads. Uh, that would allow you to connect external drives which I've covered in articles before so if you don't know what I'm talking about just uh, find the article for this video and there will be links there but essentially um, you can connect external hard drives, USB hard drives um, USB sticks, USB card readers, things like that to your iPad and then access the files in iFile so um, just going to connect the flash drive right now uh, give it a few seconds to appear in the sidebar and you can see that this is the flash drive and you can see I have some Word documents PowerPoint presentation and a PDF document so I could just do the exact same thing here create, uh, there are no folders here but let's say you have a large flash drive like 64 gigabytes or something like that you can actually create uh, folders named like PDF or documents, video and then you could link those individual folders to the apps that would need access to those so a video app would only be able to see the video folder and so on and so forth or you can actually link the entire drive and if you notice uh, right here at the top uh, above the first file it says var uh, mnt and mount1 that's the address to the flash drive in the file system and that address will always lead to the first flash drive connected even if it's a different flash drive uh, you can connect multiple drives at once in which case you would have we just go back, mount 1, mount 2 and so forth but those folder names won't change so 
if I just uh, from this screen where I actually see the mount one folder I go into edit mode copy slash link go back into applications goodreader documents edit paste whoops no that's not right um, not paste create link that's what you shouldn't do is to select paste um, so, um, change the name to like uh, U S B one or something like that um, and then I actually have a symbolic link to the first flash drive connected no matter which one that is so I could have USB 2 and 3 and then I don't have to recreate these links for each new flash drive I uh, connect so if I now go into Goodreader and just head back you can see that the flash drive is now accessible in Goodreader um, and obviously this files just open just fine directly from the flash drive no need to copy them over or anything like that and um, if I unmount the drive it will simply be hidden so you can see it so we won't have a ton of different um, broken symbolic links but then if I plug the flash drive back in just wait for it to see it again and there we go then head back into Goodreader it's once again avail uh, available in Goodreader so this is actually very seamless and it it's one of those things that it's almost amazing that it's not supposed to work this way because it just works so well um, just you can unplug the drive and not use it for a week and then plug it back in and suddenly you have it available in your app so that's it that's how you do it with an external drive basically the exact same concept uh, I just wanted to point out um, how you can create symbolic links to the entire drive rather than just folders because that's a bit more dynamic with regards to using different flash drives so um, that's it make sure to check out the article that goes with this video for any necessary links regarding using external drives and things like that uh, this has been Andreas from Pokerbolt.com and thank you for watching.